Well, little Timothy, welcome to what could have been. That's right, it's Red World, a old history mod that asks the question, what if America didn't do so well in that old cold kerfuffle they had? Yeah, I mean, look at Europe, it don't look too bad, you know? I mean, it kind of still looks like Europe. Um... America, on the other hand. Now, there are quite a few interesting nations we can give a go today. Of course, you may already know that there is a pretty cursed Bernie Sanders path that we have done countless times on the channel already, so we won't be doing that one. And I think last year, I actually did the Italians when we came back for Nostalgia November, so today, I'd like to do something different. Now, what we have to choose from is either the UK or the American Republic, both which play very differently, but are again bastions of democracy, quote unquote. Uh, you see, because the rest of Europe has all fell to the iron fist of communisms. Oh, except for Spain. They never got Spain. Uh, but you know, we did play America already in the modern day mod, so I think we'll go and give old blight here a go. Oh, of course, if you didn't know already, the original mod creator did pass away. So again, rest in peace, Kaiser 1871. Thank you very much, Tom. Okay, old chaps, it's safe to say that things have been a little better for the Empire. Now, if I remember correctly, there is also a very cursed path for the UK where you get like some punished Theresa May down here, but uh, it's not that great. Uh, yeah, all it seems to culminate to is you invading Normandy, so I'm not gonna do that either today. So yes, our position on the continent is that we are not invited to the continent. Instead, we're just sort of hanging out with Ireland and then Northern Ireland, which is now independent. Uh, but we are resisting the urge to flip on over and join all these smelly communists. So in this universe, it's not Tony Sopranos, Soprano. It's Percy Grant, and he's great at logistics. Sometimes, though, he does go by Donald Stewart. I'm now an old lady. Okay, we have two options here, which are going to change how this game plays completely. Do we let Her Majesty into the Parliament, or do we lock her out? We're, in fact, going to let her in. Uh, and, uh, what a surprise. She's gone ahead and dissolved the entire thing. Hey, but that has now locked us in completely to become coming a absolute monarchy under Queen Elizabeth II. Rest in peace. I just I just found my nightmare blunt rotation right here in this cabinet. Okay, so the Libyan Civil War has kicked off and we were helping out the National Salvation Government simply because they're um, the least radical of the bunch, uh, which I guess is actually kind of funny to say considering I'm now an absolute monarchy. Um, but yeah, this whole thing is uh, a bit ridiculous and how easy it is. You can just walk around all of them and capitulate them one by one. But there you go, Libya is now whole under a nice democratic government. Okay, we're also going to give uh, this guy a helping hand simply for the fact he's declared himself a monarch. And we're all about that, sadly. And um, plus also, uh, the, the other side is more communism. So. <laughs> uh oh, I don't think... Uh, I don't think Turkey's gonna be around much longer. Okay, so now that we have secured the kingdom for the monarch, we are gonna start expanding. And the first thing we need to do is take out Northern Ireland. Just kidding, I'm not going to bother doing that. Instead, go straight for Canada. Um, uh, sorry, Northern Ireland. Uh, I may come back for you though. Uh, May. Oh, actually, Canada's got quite a few troops going around. I'm not too sure I'll be able to get this landing. Okay, so I went ahead, I took out a couple countries over here in the Caribbean, specifically the Bahamas and Guyana, mostly because of, damn, those resources. Uh, but now I think it is time for Operation Suraparvis. And I found a way to easily get the landing now after getting the landing we now have to very quickly repair everything here so we can keep going okay that took way way longer than i thought it would mostly down to the fact that i had to build a lot of supply up and i don't have player-led conferences on and i just realized they were also all the union Amer oh no they actually didn't turn out that bad we got everything we wanted uh we couldn't really take any of this midwest and stuff it's way too expensive but i might be able to like steal this one right here oh, 
we go. Move that Canadian border down just a sneaky little bit. Hey, yeah, but that did take way longer than I was expecting. But hey, we did get Australia out of it too, and Canada and Alaska, which is good. But now we are going back over to Europe because we're not too interested in rebuilding the entire empire here. I just wanted a little bit more land for us to have breathing room and, of course, more resources. Okay, island. Uh, I put you off for a bit there, but now I'm back. And where's the fun of having a British Empire if you're not a threat of car bombing? I said I wasn't going to uh, just rebuild the old empire, but uh, kind of have to. I don't think we're quite ready yet to uh, take on all of Europe. There is a specific reason that we are bringing back the Empire LARP, and it, no, it, it's not just for Empire LARP. It's actually because there is a ton of resources down here in South Africa, and the easiest way for me to do it is just to make my way down. Oh, and just just like that, that is enough empire building for us. Okay, so after conquering Africa back, we can go ahead and look at our resources and see that we are very much A-OK -okay from now on. Uh, we're also just going to go straight down onto limited as well, and look at that, we are fine. Our tungsten's pretty low, but we could just trade with India, or I guess we could even... No, no, okay, no more. Uh, it also has nothing to do with the fact they have almost 600 divisions, apparently. Okay, now, I'll Operation European Liberation is definitely going to be a bit of a tricky one. As you see, the Warsaw Pact is absolutely ginormous, and they also have Egypt down here. I do have to say, though, the world is a lot more peaceful than uh, <laughs> what I'm doing to it. Uh, although there are a few wars going on, uh, nothing too crazy, except the Japanese and the Soviets are at war. If I wish they would join my faction, but apparently that's not possible. Uh, but yeah, we do have the Spanish in our faction on our side, and we do have a border in Europe now, but we can't just go gun hose blazing in, because it will be a bit messy. Instead, we're going to go ahead, we're going to build a whole bunch of submarines to hopefully keep all of Europe under blockade. Uh, it's a shame that America also fell to communism as well, and they all have descent centralized into their little blocks, which is fine. I don't think they're really going to be a threat to us, but it is still a bit sad. And I don't think it'd be worth going over there and liberating them, but I guess I could. It's not like I'm doing anything here, waiting for the, uh, the build-up of the submarines, and they are all in their own faction anyway. All right, we're beginning Operation Uncage Eagle. Yeah, also, uh, the queen died. Uh, long live the new queen. Now, I do hate just having to carpet nuke my way through through the enemies, but uh, it's probably for the best, considering yeah, technically we're in 10 years into the game right now. I couldn't even get Air Supremacy to drop a nuke, but it doesn't look like it matters anyway. Uh, and I think I'm only have, gonna have to capitulate these guys right here, because they have the rest as puppets, which could make this very easy. Oh uh, yeah, also we lost another queen, and now we've got Queen William V. And my theory was correct. Uh, sadly, I can't just like puppet people, which uh, I would have preferred to do here, but I guess I'm just gonna have to take everything myself. I mean, oh no, what a shame. I have to take all this land. I, I have no idea how this is gonna go, but we have waited long enough. Operation Liberate Europe definitely needs to begin. Uh, now, I have a whole bunch of nukes saved up because I obviously didn't have to use them in America, which should make this a lot easier. But first of all, we are gonna need to take out Egypt as they are in the Warsaw Pact. Uh, and then after we've done that, we'll probably go ahead and move on over into Spain and try and get something done here. Uh, yeah, wish me luck. Oh, and uh, <laughs> didn't quite put my fighters up in time there. <laughs> I'd love to drop a nuke on uh, Tripoli right now, but I physically can't really get a click on the province. There you go, fine. There you go. Back into the sea, you commie. Back. India. It's a very interesting new look. Unsurprisingly, late game Hoi 4 has turned into me waiting for their planes to disappear. Ah, uh, but just you wait. As soon as they've run out of planes, we can finally carry on. Okay, 75% air supremacy is all we need to wipe all these airfields off the map. France is now nothing. But a concept. Okay, we ain't waiting around either. We are going straight in for the kill. <laughs> the horde has been activated. There you go, take that. But yeah, we are kind of just pushing in the uh, MacArthur sense of a way, where if you can't beat them, 
drop a nuke on them. It's going all right though, and uh, quite quite surprisingly, is that the casualties in this war are not that crazy. Um, the, the Polish have apparently taken the most. <laughs> oh, well, I thought my war was painful. Um, <laughs> I can only imagine how much fun this is. Okay, so having a bit of an operational break here, just because I need to repair all the airports and stuff that I have nuked out of existence, but it's going pretty well. Only problem is we have a lot of people we need to capitulate, including Japan. I guess they lost their war. Oh yeah, I should also definitely get to work on getting a collab government on the Russians, because uh, <laughs> that's not going to be too fun, is it? Except your gosh darn liberation, my European friends. I also like how the only other people I actually have in my faction is Spain and Morocco. <laughs> That's all we have against this horrible faction. Okay, the gates have been busted open. The wall has been teared down. And now all we need to do is capitulate the Russians and the Japanese. And we are finished here. Oh, actually, this could be a lot easier than I thought it would. The, the Russians have, like, no troops. Um... They've also taken, like, no casualties either, so I don't know what the AI's cooking. Only in Hoi 4 can you see the Moroccan, Spanish, and British teaming up together to beat down the Russians. Well, I was kind of expecting some sort of final boss battle here, but, uh, yeah, it just turns out the Soviet AI is, um... Well, it doesn't exist. Not too sure what the, uh, the ineptitude of whatever is happening here or what. Oh, yeah, well that, well that might that might be it. Remember, this is all in the spirit of liberating all our European friends, even though we may have dropped a few nuclear bombs on them. Okay, well, um, they definitely had plenty of equipment. Uh, I did get told once in the comments that when you get to late game Hoi 4, apparently the AI does kind of wig out sometimes and just build planes and has no manpower to build actual units. But I don't know if that's what's going on, but uh, it's definitely a little bit weird. Thankfully, it looks like Japan pretty much has no troops either. Three out of 12, which should put this war to bed. Uh, I get the feeling this piece deal is going to be very messy though, because I think the Spanish, although they only have 3% there, probably we have enough to be annoying, but I'm just kind of going to let them, because they deserve it for invading Afghanistan. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, in the time it took me to capitulate them, apparently Albania's become a great power. I guess I'll be taking a little bit of a detour through Greece. Okay, I... I don't think that was necessary. And there we go. Spain actually has zero war participation. That's actually not too fair. <laughs> oh, I can't actually puppet anyone, so <laughs> I guess I'll just take all the land. And there also goes the Greeks, and for some reason the Algerians were in there too. Oh, no, never mind. I get events to actually puppet them all. Okay, Europe will unfortunately be free. And there we go. Monarchy is officially back. Back in fashion across all of Europe. Uh, although I do have to say it's very optimistic thinking that uh, Michael the First over there would survive to 2030, considering he died in like 2016. Uh, but we're not done yet, as there is still one communist nation staining this map. That's right. Say hello to democracy, even though we haven't had an election in over a well, two decades now. Well, it's um. It's not the prettiest. <laughs> such a, this is such a cursed world. Oh uh, yeah. Also, at some point, Syria just to cloud on me, but I just, I don't care anymore. I'm so done. Oh, uh, never mind. The Imperial Defense Force has assembled after I called them all in. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, it's safe to say pretty much everyone in this faction has access to nuclear weapons by, <laughs> by the looks. Okay, now we are officially done. Uh, it's been an incredibly long game, but it didn't actually feel that long, mostly because the game goes incredibly quickly, even though we are like 20 years into it. Uh, obviously, we could keep going and invade even more people and keep rebuilding our empire, but there is clearly no point <laughs> anymore, because look at the size of this thing. But hey, if you enjoy Red world uh feel free to leave a like at the subscribe button down below because we'll be back to it at some point they are still updating this version of it but only a few things here or there uh but it is one of those mods i always enjoy coming back to just for the pure chaos of it uh but yeah if you want to carry on the nostalgia november journey feel free to leave a subscribe down below and i'll catch you in the next episode <laughs>